Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about interest rate swaps. The purpose of this video is not to get into too much technical detail and um, to, to get into too much of the theory. I want to just explain a really quick method to calculate what the end, the, the net result will be when two individuals be it an individual and another individual or an individual and a bank enter into a swap agreement. Now what happens is you'll have, let's say in this instance you've got person A and person B. So person A, let's call that person triple A, has a better credit rating than person triple B. Now what happens is if triple A goes to the bank they would be offered a let's say a 5% fixed interest rate and if they asked for a variable interest rate they would be offered a LIBOR plus 2% interest rate. I'm just making these figures up for arbitrary sake. Triple B does not have as good a credit rating. Triple B, if they went to the bank, they would be offered a, let's say, a 7% fixed or a LIBOR plus one, uh, excuse me, LIBOR plus three percent, a LIBOR plus three percent interest rate. Now what happens is, let's say for example in a question, what they will say is um, Joe Soap, or not Joe Soap, Triple A would like to have, Triple A would like to borrow at a variable rate, and triple B would like to borrow at a fixed rate. So that's what they would like at the end of the day. So just remember that this guy wants a variable rate, wants a variable rate, and this guy wants a fixed rate. So now the question is, what arrangement can these two individuals get into to take advantage of the relative differences in their interest rates. What you'll notice is that AAA has got a 5% fixed interest rate that it can get and B has a 7% fixed interest rate. AAA obviously LIBOR plus 2% and B LIBOR plus 3%. Now like I said this video I'm not going to put a lot of theory into this and confuse you guys. I just want to show you a really really quick method on how to calculate the net result and how this will all end up. What you need to do is you need to look at a particular condition of interest and compare that with the other guy. So compare LIBOR to LIBOR and fixed to fixed and the one which has the biggest comparative di difference which in this case is a fixed interest rate because it's five percent interest versus seven percent as you can see it's five percent versus seven percent sorry that's not it's not best color five percent versus seven percent what you will notice is that the difference is obviously 2% there. Where if you compare their variable rates, that's 2% and the other one is 3%. So the difference is only 1% with their variable rates. So how do you determine what's the next step? And this is where it's really, really easy, guys. Um, okay, so what you do is the guy with... 
Okay, you first look at where you have the biggest difference, okay, which is fixed. So then you say, obviously, the guy with the lowest interest rate, triple A, will borrow at fixed 5%, and triple B will borrow at the opposite which is the variable of LIBOR plus 3%. Right. Now what they've done is they will then swap their cash flow arrangements or obligations and the net result will be as follows. And pay, pay close attention to what I'm going to do now. 5% less 7% is 2%, right? Okay. 2% less 3% is 1%. And the difference between 2 and 1, yes, this, this amount here and this amount here is 1%, right? Now, you remember at the beginning I said triple A wanted a variable rate, variable, and triple B wanted a fixed rate. So what you do is you go straight to what triple A wanted to do in the first place, which is get a variable rate. And you go this 1% which must then be split, I'm just saying you're divided by 2, which equals 0, 0,5, and that benefit of a half a percent must be subtracted from this 2% to give you LIBOR plus 1.5%. And, and with the fixed rate, which is what triple B wanted, you will go 7% less this half a percent. Remember, that's the benefit from them swapping the, because of the comparative difference in interest rate. And they will share this comparative um, benefit equally, assuming that's what their agreement is to share equally. And you will go 7% less a half a percent which equals six and a half fixed. Now there's a lot of writing on the screen at the moment so I don't want to confuse you guys too much and I'm going to show you how just how easy it really is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down a scenario again and I'm going to show you with if you, it, I don't know how I came about figuring this one out, but it has saved me a lot of time in exams. Right, so triple A could get a 5% fixed rate, or you could get LIBOR plus 2. And triple B could get a 7% fixed rate and it could get LIBOR plus 3. So the quickest way to do this, let's just do this without all the, the writing and squiggles and stuff. You look at what the where, where the biggest difference is. Is it between these two or between those two? Obviously it's between these two here. So that's where the biggest difference is. So what you do is you say you go to the lowest guy, that's 5%. So he has to obviously borrow it fixed. And the other guy will have to borrow at variable. Because you can't both borrow it fixed because how are you going to swap, um, swap your, um, your interest rate arrangements? So you, the one guy will borrow, uh, AAA will borrow at 5 
and the other guy will borrow it live at plus three. Now, the benefit being, comparing it, that is two. They scored two there, and they lost one. They minus one down there because they borrowed at LIBOR plus three, but the best interest rate was LIBOR plus two, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So they are negative one down, right? So they're negative one down, and they borrowed at 5% fixed, which is the best they could have got between the 5 and the 7%. So they are positive 2 up. So they're positive 2 up and they're negative 1 down. Right? Which means they are 1, overall, 1 better than what they would have been if they had not entered into this arrangement. But because they're two individuals, they need to split the difference. So each guy or lady or bank gets a half percent benefit to the arrangement all right so what do you then do you then go back to what they originally wanted what did they originally want they originally wanted triple a wanted a variable rate there it is okay so you, you just you kind of just hit pause at that point and you forget about all the fancy calculations that you've done so far you just go, okay, what did they originally want? They originally wanted a variable rate. Triple A wanted variable. And triple B originally wanted what? Fixed. Okay. So now, all you have to do is take this half a percent and, and put it here. 0.5, subtract it. And you've got LIBOR plus 1.5. So AAA gets to borrow at his variable rate and he saves a half percent. And triple B gets to borrow at fixed, fixed seven, minus his 0 0.5 or her 0 0.5, which equals 6.5% fixed. As simple as that, guys. Guys, if you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and leave your comments below.